Lights out and blast off then. Good launch from both the Hansen brothers down to the first corner. Jerome getting away well on the outside there. He's going to try and squeeze uh, Hakenen into the first corner. And he does so, but he loses out as Hakenen gets a better line through that corner and holds on to third place. And now Kevin is through as uh, brother Timmy was trying to hold his way through around the outside of turn two, but wasn't quite able to get ahead. Not quite sure if that was the uh, the Hanson brothers tactic or not, but whatever it is, it seems to have worked out that they've both come out in uh, P1 and P2. Of course, with Toppy starting in P3, there was always the risk that he would latch onto the back of Kevin and shut the door for Timmy to be able to get up the inside, but uh, that wasn't the case. He was too far back, although Toppy now into the back of Timmy. A tiny little nudge, but it wasn't enough to unsettle the, Finn, uh, the Swedish driver. Yeah, just enough for the Finn there to just let him know he's there and uh, that he's going to be signaling his intentions, but of course, it's very, very difficult to get past you can see him there losing a bit of time in that final corner, which allowed Jerome Grosse and Nick to close up quite significantly over the brow of the hill. They go through turn one, a very sideways Andreas Steffen there in the background of your shot. There's Abby Eaton in the blue machine just going through right behind Jerome Grosse and in. I tell you what, though, Tommy Aikenen, for a man who was dominating yesterday, he's just not been that uh, far up front here today. He's sort of been best of the rest compared to both the Hanson brothers. Yeah, he's just, he's just not quite got it. Oh, Steffen into the wall on the outside there. He completely overcooked it going through that left hander. Sorry to cut in front of you there, Dan, but he clips it into the barrier, and I'd be very surprised if there wasn't a bit of damage on his Pantera. Well, certainly bodywork, if not something uh, mechanical, but uh, we did. it looked like he managed to get going again, so thankfully, oh no, he's, he's facing, uh, facing the wrong way. <laughs> so that's not the way to negotiate this near our motorsport centre. Dear, oh dear, difficult times here for Andreas Stefan. Hopefully he's able to get himself into a safe place, and we won't have that car stricken, but it is stricken. That broken right rear suspension there, then four... Andreas Stefan, and if it's in a dangerous place, they may call a red flag in the final for Titans RX. Then keep an eye out for that and see whether that is the case. It was just going through here where he uh, completely overcooked it very sideways, a little bit too wide, and it was straight to the scene of the accident there for Andreas. Where has he uh, parked the car though on the track? Doesn't look to be in too much of a dangerous place. No wave yellow flags, no red flags there. So that is good to see for Andreas Stefan, just able to get that car out of harm's way for the most part. Yeah, that's that's the main thing, isn't it? So uh, we can see him, he's, he's getting out of the car. He's going to be very disappointed. We saw, uh, we saw him actually celebrating with his mechanics when uh, he'd made it through into the final. But uh, yeah, this isn't going to be the way he wanted that final to uh, finish. So got it for Andreas. Road section into looking quicker than Toppy Hakenen here as well. Going through this first sector, it's where the Frenchman looks really strong. I don't know whether Toppy's just been struggling with setup or something along the lines of that on his car all day, but just doesn't seem to be able to hook it up altogether here. And as such, he's now falling into the clutches of the Frenchman. Yeah, Jerome is really keeping him honest. He's been there this whole race, hasn't he? Just piling the pressure a little bit on uh, on Toppy. But uh, well, for these two out in front. Kevin's got a gap of 1.2 back to Timmy, and Timmy's got an even bigger gap back to uh, to Toppy. So the Hampton brothers looking to be on for the perfect final here. And Grosse in, I think, has gotten through. He has on Toppy Hakenen through in that final sector then. So the Frenchman is now into P3. So we didn't see what happened on screen at that time. But now Grosse in is into third position. So it's going from bad to worse for Toppy Hakenen. This will be the first time he's off the podium. It, since actually I think Montalegre in Portugal potentially here so that is huge drama for the Finn and this will be the first time in, ter in turn of that that Grosse Jin will have been on the podium since SA the first round of Titans RX back in June this is uh, this is not good news for uh, Toppy Toppy's series hopes because uh, of course the, the two people that are out in front Kevin is uh, leading the standings and Timmy down in third but uh, with uh, having Grosse Jin in between Toppy and Timmy that's going to make an even bigger points gap uh, for the, the, the finishing points of this round so Toppy needs to really try and work his way back up past Jerome if he wants to stand a chance of uh, holding on to the series series win. The thing is, what he's going to have to hope for here there, Toppy, is just a mistake from Grosse Jnip because he's just got such a significant pace advantage over the uh, Finn at the moment that he's just been able to bridge a bit more of a gap to him. It's about eight tenths of a second or so as it sits now. Here, though, is Kevin Hansen leading the way. Timmy there in second place, of course, took victory yesterday in round nine, and this is uh, going to be very important. And the great thing is it's going to go down to the final round of the 2019 Titans RX series as things stand between Kevin and Timmy and Toppy as well. So let's keep an eye out and see how things change. I tell you though, I was saying just about uh, Toppy closing up onto the back and he dropped back a little bit, but he has now been able to bridge that gap down to Grosse Jin. It's a little bit closer than it was this time last time. It's only got less than a kilometer now to try and make that move on the Frenchman. I'm, uh, I'm actually a little bit more interested in the battle for, for the front because 
Kevin seems to have dropped right back into the clutches of Timmy. You can see the gap is at 0.6. The lap before, it was up over a second. So I was wondering maybe if there was a problem for Kevin. But uh, yeah, you can see that similar situation with Jerome and, uh, and Toppy. Yep, down into towards the left hand we go through into the uh, final sector. Huge drama here potentially with Toppy trying to get the better of Jerome Grace and in for the final spot on the podium through into the final series of corners we go. Over the line we're about to come though. Kevin Hansen takes victory in the final but who is going to get third? Will it be Grosse and in? Yes it will. He just holds on. The pressure was really put on him there by Toppy Hakenen at the very end of that race but Grosse and in will stand on the Tyson's RX podium for the first time since SA in...